With its pipe fusing operation in full swing since late fall, the Lois team has begun the next phase in the project, which involves bending the fused lengths of high-density polyethylene pipe into an S-curve for the buoyant tethered portions of the pipeline. The S-curve design is necessary to allow for temperature fluctuations in the lake. Since Oswego Lake is a fairly shallow body of water, its temperature can change up to 40 degrees through the seasons. With that kind of change, the pipeline can shrink and grow up to 14 feet over the two-mile long stretch. The lowest system design accommodates those temperature fluctuations in three ways. Tethers restrain the pipe from bowing up. Attached buoyancy pipes restrain the pipe from bowing down. And the S-curve limits side-to-side -side movement. These measures act in unison to ensure the right grade for gravity flow to the treatment plant. On the left, you can see a scenario with a straight pipe, bird's eye view at the top and cross-section view on the bottom. With no S-curve, the fixed tether pulls the pipe down from its proper grade several feet during temperature fluctuations. On the right, the pipe with the S-curve limits movement of the pipe to a fraction of an inch during expansion and contraction which allows the system to maintain its seven-foot slope eastward to the wastewater treatment plant. The process of bending 1,200-foot pipe lengths into an S-curve demands a space of at least 300 feet by 1,200 feet on the lake. The work area must also be away from the existing interceptor and away from the areas where piles and anchors have already been installed. With these criteria in mind, an area east of the Lake Grove Swim Park was chosen for pipe bending. A 40-foot by 10-foot barge mechanically pulls the flexible pipe into shape using winches. When the pipe has relaxed into the required curve, internodal cables are attached to the pipe to keep the curve intact. The barge then moves to the opposite side of the pipe and repeats the process until the S-curve is complete for the entire pipe length. Pipe lengths that will be pile-supported won't need bending. After fusing, they'll be towed to the right location and sunk into place. Those pipe lengths will be installed during the lake down phase of the LOAS project, starting in September 2010. If you'd like to find out more, visit LOASnews.com or find LOAS on Facebook and Twitter.